Hello, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> hi, hi. How's everyone doing? Hello. Let me uh, say hi to a few people here. Hi, Brain Rot. Hi, Dumpling. Hi, Cha Cha. Hi, Katori. Hi, Puck Puck. Hi, D Dragon. Hi, Tinkerbocker. Slobberdocker. Hi, Hinge. Minekalu. Hi, Zenogoku. Anyone else? Calibrate real fast. One second. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hi, Lol. Anyways, you may have noticed you is a small plushie today. Uh, let me also move. Hi, Yibbery. Hello, hello. Anyways, you can busy doing a few stuff, but uh, you will be joined to me today for some Harvestella. Let me introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Yuna Estrella of Dual Leveling, and together with my twin sister, Yuki, we are Guild Masters here at the Atlas Adventuring Guild, and we're excited to adventure with you today. Yay! Ooh. Today's going to be a lot of talking because there's a lot of dialogue in this game. Part 20 of Harvestella. This is a a farming RPG sim made by Square Enix. And I have slowly, slowly been trying to get through this game. It's not that I don't enjoy it. It's more like it's an RPG, right? So long story. I think last time we had made it to a new town and we were kind of exploring doing quests. There. Big lurking today while I'll take care of some things. Have fun. No worries, thank you. Hi, gas can. Oh, well, you know, I just got out of work. Gonna listen in on the drive home. But have a safe drive. Thank you for listening. Let me know if you can or cannot hear. If I need to turn it up, okay? Talking, you're super good at that. Yes. Yugi, is that really you? You look rather plush today. <laughs> Blink twice as you've been kidnapped by a dragon. Yugi's just, uh, you know, a little quiet today, you know? A tiny bit up. Okay. The thing I don't like about the Elgato is that every time you, like, tab out, it kind of goes the weird. I think it'll eventually go back to full screen, but I don't know how to disable that. <laughs> like, anytime you tab out, it, it shrinks like that. Forgot what date we were on. Um. Okay, it's, it's the 12th of the autumn, so we're good. Go to the temple to ask for permission. Oh man, we have a lot of quests to do. Autumn rain. Summer fall. We could plant some wheat. Grass. Right now we're in the fall season. You know. Good night, hello. 
Okay, that Australian chicken noodle soup is pretty good. It's more vegetables, though. I will set up for a few days to grow some. Let's go. See you later. If anyone does try my chicken noodles, I know that, uh... Oh, excuse me. He has tried it, right? Ale. Oh, so much! Thank you for Jade. Thanks so much for looking out for Jade and me. I'm so glad I got to see him again. I was so, blah, 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 so sure. I never get a chance. When you got some time, I'd love it if you could come to Namiya. Okay, fine. Uh, Jade's memories still haven't come back, but I'll never give up. Fine. We'll go to Namiya at some point. I have another request, but I don't have much time, so I'll keep it short. Please bring me two red leaves from the silent cave. Uh, I can't believe this could happen after everything we talked about. I fear they must be... I need to meet her again. I haven't been able to get that girl from the Heaven's Egg out of my head since I got back to town. I guess thing I guess this whole thing isn't over after all. I need to go back to Heaven's Egg again. I hope you won't come mind coming with me. Lots of side quests to do. I would like to say thank you for taking talking to me earlier, so won't so would you meet me at the bar? I'll we'll treat you to a meal. Okay, I will definitely go to the uh, oh. thing ready to harvest. Pumpkin, okay. That's some sugar. that pumpkin in there. Oh, a lot of stuff. I have a lot of juice in things like part 20 shouldn't you be at just about the end already i was basically at the end of part 20. yeah uh it just takes me a while and because unlike Someone just playing through the game. I'm talking the whole time too, so that makes it that makes me go a lot slower, you know. <laughs> and I have to like, you you may notice that I also like read the dialogue out for you guys, so that also slows me down. As well. That's the hard thing about streaming. You don't can't, you don't usually go as fast as you normally would, you know? We were promised a hundred percent speed run, hi Troy. I ship out. Bended horn. Milk. I think it'll be a side quest day. Uh... 
Pink cock buttons. Pink cock buttons. Pink cock buttons. In a while. Pink cock buttons. Yeah, I feel like when you have to talk and, and stream at the same time, it slows you down a lot. Oh. Potato. Um, let us... That potato there. Water biome nets. Or pecan. I always forget. Nope. Yay! Ops are slowly. Harvest these. Here for the chill vibes, yeah! I think, like I said, I think we're probably gonna end up doing a ton of side quests today. Um... Also curious what... ...foods and stuff I need to make. Uh... Actually, I have plenty of food to get through a journey if I need. Runners, hello. It's going pretty well. It's a pretty chill stream today. I have repair kits. I have bombs. Hi there. See if there's anything we new we can make. Missing something for that. Chilled corn soup. We're missing something. On blank. Make tomato and eggplant cheese bait. Add. Those are the only two thing new things we can make. So uh, Yep. Then potato and eggplant cheesecake. Open. Sorry to hear that you lost a game. Sorry. <laughs> what game did you lose? See you later. Hopefully you'll win the next one. Watching from beds and dozing off is very possible. I mean, if you doze off, no worries. So let us head to the uh no. Oh, we need to go, uh... 
bring back souvenirs. Let's stop by some time to leave the bath. Bobbing in to say hello. Hi, Elkris. I'm gonna pop into this inn and see if Oh. We'll need to be able to make that chilled corn soup. We have. Oh, we're very poor. We only have two pay to our name. Go visit Yuki. The Yuki. Hello there. If we can't upgrade anything <laughs> yet. This is why I watch streams sitting up. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, um, actually, let's see if we have anything for Crest. I doubt we do. I don't know if we have what she needs. Is it weird to still be playing Pokemon Battles? Anyways, got a few months this streak with a couple of games play per week. Oh. Are you all right? You look like you're struggling. Don't overdo it, okay? okay. Have it. Well, I mean, Pokemon's a good game. A lot of people will play. So, we have a few quests. Silent Cave. Yeah, admittedly, I haven't been into many Pokemon games in a while. I used to be really into them when I was young. I'm being unable to get into them. I don't know why. So let us go here. Um. That done. Go to the cultivation pod. don't remember how to get there, guys. Here it is. The cultivation pods. Thank you. I'm so sorry for calling you, but I can't get Teal out of my head. Might be linked to, uh, linked to all this. So Teal was the girl that we rescued. That Aesil rescued. Kind of like brought up. Not being a part of this dungeon. Like, kind of dungeon map. 
to write. Monsters started coming outside now and again, and now this. There must be a reason behind it all. How hard it is to talk with rubber bands in your mouth. Can't wait to get these up. <laughs> and I can't find I nor care of her. You think she's deeper in? Him again, you must really want to see me. That voice, you're Tiela, right? So happy to see you, truly. There's no need to stare. I'll tell you whatever you want to, need to know, Azel. I have so many questions, but first you need to tell me who you are. You look like her and sound like her, but you're not Teal, are you? Can't be. I see. So it was you who killed her. That's the up. Oh, it's an imposter. You got me. I'm not Teela. I am... I guess you can just call me Otella. Made up a name? You tricked us. Loon. Wow, no need to look so disappointed. Does my appearance really bother you that much? There is a reason why I look like... Go on then, why do you look like Teela? Because I'm just like her. I'm another biological unit created to control the dragons. You could call me a backup, I guess. Backup. Exactly. Which is why I look just like you. From the roots of my hair to the tips of my nails, every facet of me is an act of right. I was made exactly in her image. So you're an artificial human. Oh, yuck. You don't have to say it like that. Oh, her personality is actually quite different. Although you're not completely wrong, I was born inside one of these cultivation pods off. No, there used to be a lot more Teela's back in the day. You mean besides you and Teela herself? Yep. Although everyone was decommissioned before we were ever used. Are you here? I was due to be decommissioned like the others. But alas, Lady Luck was not on my side. What does this have to do with luck? Coincidentally, I was kept alive in a state of suspended animation. Thanks to you, I finally woke up. He, I was activated as the backup after Taylor died. Ah. You mean you woke up when I killed the giant dragon? Bingo. I was the unit in the best shape, so I ended up drawing the short straw. I just Aesel and Teela sound like a shouldn't tragic main couple. I mean, I'm not... They do seem like a, <laughs> a couple, don't they? Yes, a decommission definitely is, is a way to say. <laughs> so here I am, with no essential dragons left to control. So you have nothing to do, you're bored. Really not Teela. Well, I'm drawing data from her memory recording. But no, I'm not Teela. I'm Otella. You try to keep up, won't you? Her personality's different. Teela was very, like, soft. I love Homunculi, yes. Hi. Why did you call us here? Have you figured that out already? I want to see you, Aesel. Why me? Teela really liked you. You seem super important to her. Like, there are extremely vivid memories of you and Teela's data where there should be empty space. So it's hard not to be a little curious. The famous Aesel, Teela found to be so important. So you controlled the monsters to leave me in. Now the people in town have been scared witless about this. Nobody was hurt, were they? Made sure of that. Nonetheless. Ah, what a shame. Huh? 
I was really expecting more from this meeting. Butterflies in the stomach, maybe? Too bad. I can only blame myself for setting my expectations too high. Can you resurrect Taylor now? I mean, this is just a clone of her, apparently. Utella. I, I think keeping... I, I think... Keep, uh, keep thinking. Oh my goodness. Keep thinking of Nutella. Like the hazelnut spread. No use in crying over spilt milk. That's how the saying goes, right? Hey, wait a minute. What are you going to do now? Big question. And what would you do if I told you, Asel? Tell me no. Give me orders and tell me to behave. I think I'd much rather go ahead and do whatever I feel like doing. Oh wait, that's not what... Relax. First thing I'll do is clear out the dragons. I got what I wanted out of them anyways. See you later, Asel. She's just like, bye! You too, you, you. It was interesting meeting you. I'm so interesting, though! She's sassy. She is. Otella! So that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little more spicy. Spicy personality. I have no idea. I guess all we can do is trust what she says. Yeah, really. I mean, she didn't harm you guys. What now? Otella said she would fall off the dragons. It makes me feel like that issue is done and dusted. I guess we should be happy about that much. Let's just count our blessings. You're right, but everyone in town will be pleased, at least. All I can do now is return to Namiya. There's nothing left to investigate here. Are you ready to go? Yes. Thanks for all of your help, once again. I know, she was like, bye! Close. I was hoping for money. I need money! Therefore, we only have 2,000 money to our name. was a very like oh hey nice to meet you goodbye <laughs> go back home I guess we'll go out again maybe artificial you know no there is no artificial Yuna, there is only the original Yuna! Also, do you guys know what I named our little mount? Don't make. <laughs> Riding you guys, this little uh, rabbit mount. There's so many side quests. Um. I would like more, please.
Yuki up tonight? Working at the forge? Yep, she's doing some work. Um, mostly cleaning up a little bit. I think this backup is called Ona, then. <laughs> is it? I think my backup is called Yuki. <laughs> she's the clone, right? Artificial unit will replace us slowly with artificial guildmates. So we could tirelessly game on the molehill. Ooh, there's nothing we can... Make great copies of your Have you in come theory, to see right? Hi. Nice thing about twins is you never lack for spare parts. Yeah, like in theory, I could I could use Yuki's kidney. Do you? I've been waiting. It's emo. I want to repay you for it before. I'm looking forward to this. I'm glad I've been too. I'll be taking a break soon. Let's eat something together. A date! We're going on a date! You take a seat and listen to Emo sing. Her voice is really something. Really is something. Part 20. Either you played the equivalent of 20 parts in one... Or this is the one I missed. Uh, is it? I don't remember. I think this is just like, I'm just really slow, <laughs> is what, what's going on. Everyone seems so happy today, because I'm, I'm really slow at playing this game, because I, I have to, I voice act everyone, and then I talk the whole damn time. Your voice was on point as always. I'd like to think only sings My Chemical Romance songs. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious if that's what she sings the whole time? Hi, Eve. So useful. You can send them on fetch quests, ask them with cover, etc. Yuki would not clean. She is horrible clean. That's really nice of you to say, Yu Yu. You two having fun? Oh, bartender. Yes, thank you. Happy to hear it. Feel free to order whatever you like. Let's go! Is it on the house? We will. Now I'll lead you to it. I don't want to get in the way, so I'll just be over there. Excuse me, bartender? Emo, can I trouble you for, you for a moment of your time? Oh, who is... I didn't expect you to see me here. Who are you? I don't know them either. Yeah, I don't think they have romance in this game. Is bad. That's all right. Emo, you, you. This is the lead representative of the Shatola Fishing Organization. Fishing Organization. You can think of them as the most important of the fishermen in this town. Oh wow. There's no need to be so formal. In fact, I'm sorry for interrupting you during your time off. Oh, it's okay. Everything okay, Rep? You seem stiff. And it doesn't look like you're here for the usual drink cat. Aha, uh -huh, he's right. Truth is, there's something I'd like to ask of you, Emo. You are organizing a vigil for those who passed on, and I was wondering if you might sing for us. You could probably pay. That's why Yuki is never enteringly cleaning. She has to clean up for... Actually, most of the stuff, Yuki will admit, is her TCG stuff. It's usually her office, at home, or at the guild hall, or the spare room, storage rooms. She's calling you Emo? Well, the name of the, the singer girl is Emo, apparently. <laughs> A vigil. It's an event to mourn the damage and loss of life that was brought out by the Lorelei. Really? As opposed to the usual uplifting and high spirit festivals we usually hold, it will be a somber affair to remember those no longer with us. Not unlike a few. That's really sad. That's what you're planning? Emo would be a good fit. 
After hearing her saying, I couldn't agree more. I would like Emo, rather the diva Shatola, to grace us with her voice at the vigil. Does this request seem reasonable? I feel like, uh, you know, whoever did the character naming, like, in Japan, they probably don't realize that emo <laughs> is not, is like something like playing here, right? The US. In English, too. That's a big responsibility. I will, I will, I, I will sing. Will. For everyone who has suffered, yes, I'll do it. You'll be doing the Buried a great service. I think her original Japanese name was Sadcore. <laughs> I will be in touch again tomorrow with the details on the event as well as the date. We will talk more then. Okay. Anyways, I have been treated enough. Yeah, man. We're having a dinner date. Thank you for your eager response, Emo. Vigil Hall. Festival to mourn those we lost to. All of that mess done and dusted. Now is probably the best time for it. Here you're up to it, Emo. Thank you. I'll be okay. I want to sing for the people of Shatola. And I'll help you in any way I can. I'm here for moral support too. Whoop whoop. See you. You're gonna get a lot busier from here. Oh, you're right. Still. I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. I'm here to enjoy a meal. Let's go! Good point. In that case, I'll get to work on your orders. Please. I'll be right back. I actually haven't eaten dinner yet. I had a really big lunch. I had Pizza Hut. <laughs> Thank you. Second dinner. That was fast. Demo feels like a call. Are you up for a demo? All right. <laughs> Are we supposed to meet with someone? Oh, we have to meet with Estina. Okay. I need to go to the town. Where they kind of have a confidence with us. Not the general store. I need to go down. They have a consequence for like staying up late, which. Like, it sucks because... Let me in. In the US, stuff is open like... Yes! Okay. Did that. Ooh!
kind of pizza today? It was just like normal pepperoni pizza. We also got some breadsticks too. Emo is seeing a funeral basically. Are we the person that named the characters don't know exactly what they're doing? See, you're right. Where are you? I suppose you've come to borrow a book. I'll see what information I can get about the incident. I'll get back to you as soon as I find anything out. Who said to talk? Said to come talk with you. Ugh. I'll go home. I have to talk with you during the day, maybe. Take care out there. I was going to pizza. Changed my mind. Well. I don't know if I can change your mind because I agree with you honestly. I'll join this a sandwich. Okay, yeah. Do a tiny bit of money. Hi, chicken adobo. Hello, hello. This is an old face calzone. I mean, that's why I said if I lived on, if I had to be on deserted island and only one thing, like one thing, I would choose a sandwich. You could have. I don't care if I feel sleepy. I'm a night owl. Yeah, calzones are just pizza sandwiches. The burger is the same. Actually, it's getting close to that time. Once it gets warm enough, I'm gonna start grilling, grilling some burgers and hot dogs again. Maybe I won't burn them this time. Hot dog is a sandwich, I agree. Yeah, my back is getting itchy. I don't know why. All of a sudden, itchy back. I feel like a lot of places suddenly started having those, like, calzone-type things lately. Like, all the pizza places. It used to not be a thing. I stir-fry burgers. Uh? I bet they're... Looking forward to campfire session. Oh yeah, we can make s'mores and stuff too. Have you guys had s'mores before? Haven't had in a long time. Air fry. Oh, I thought I, I don't know why I thought it said stir fry. Air fry burgers. How long does it take to air fry them? I like grilled heart hot dogs slightly charred. Um, so the friend we went to visit for the eclipse, she does not like... She does not like her hot dogs charred or grilled. She only likes them boiled. I couldn't believe it. It's like, first of all, how dare you? 
Oh god, can I make it without passing out? Welcome back. Uh, I gotta get to my bed! Okay. 10 minutes is how long you air fry a burger? Okay. Put it in there. Like, is it like a frozen burger? Or a raw burger? Then something in the loft. God, that we even had a loft. No? Now we have like two statues. I don't know what the fuck they do. Hello? I don't know what it means. Take Only likes that. boiled hot dogs. What do you mean? I like our that's our friend. I personally I like sorry to keep you waiting. I believe I'm really finally ready to tell you about everything about Fiasola. Yuki likes charred hot dogs too. She actually likes her pancakes a little burnt as well. Looks like some crops are ready for I need- I should probably... Can't some flower. I need to plant some wheat. Yeah, Lick Yugi likes her stuff pretty, like, well done. Like, we cook spam and stuff, she likes a little charred, which I do too, but she likes hers a lot more charred. <laughs> done making stuff? I wonder if we can make something. I think hot dogs are whack. Never had an actual good one. I actually really like, uh... Like, bratwurst. I only like them grilled, though. I'm stuck. I'm gonna put something in the cheese maker. One more. Throwing three of a kind. Farm work is pretty good wing exercise. Being ready.
Welcome yeah, back. bratwurst with a little sauerkraut. Um, See you later. I also think like Reuben sandwiches with sauerkraut are really good. Um, you have access to good bratwurst over there. I've seen some horrendous stuff just a country over. It's not, not bad. I would say dumpling probably yours is. Heal pet. We're supposed to meet. Actually, I'm also gonna see what I can buy here. Cooking salmon tomorrow in the air fryer. Ooh, nice. I don't think I've ever cooked in the air fryer. Level four. Damn, I'm so poor. I don't have that. Let's buy some more lump of dude. Oh. Go here, near. Yeah, I was right. I wasn't lying when I told you I had no sense of. So I actually decided to start living here. But I wasn't already living here before, like that. Hi, Yi, thanks for stopping by. The, the village does look pretty. And actually, it's kind of interesting because the scenery has changed. Or fall E. Okay, we need to go to... I actually want to buy one more um, pumpkin to plant. No, we don't have much money. Yeah, spring and fall are the most beautiful seasons for walks. I'm so glad it, it's finally like hot is rainy now, so we can take more walks. 
Which I went to the doctor today for just for a, a you know my usual checkup. And they're like, it's good outside. You should take more walks. I'm like, okay, okay. I will. <laughs> yes, I will. It's been a little rainy here. Okay, let's hope the orphanage is open now. Do you talk to me now? You can talk to me now. They're kicking me out last minute. No. He must sit. Excuse me. I know. Am. You told me to meet you here and you're not here. What the heck? Where are you? In the bathroom? Is she? Where is she? Did I just miss her? Lady? Oh. Oh? Where is she? You said me at the orphanage, you liar! Huh? What? Where are you? I had to come here like... I'm gonna look one more time. Maybe I'm just, like, missing? We're gonna look in this room here. Yeah, you said me in the orphanage, but you aren't here! You are a liar! Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna come back at night. You're a liar! You lied to me! I'm going home! to me. He's on the potty. You know what? See you that later. would be the luck. I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm not going to the freaking Namiya orphanage. Lied to me. Here he is. This is Heinz Ketchup. Bye, Wholesale! You're having bad storms. I'm sorry to hear that, but I, I've been doing pretty good. I've been looking forward to playing this game. It's been a while. 
hopefully the storms aren't too bad. Or, or don't last too long. Hi, you, you. Thanks for coming. I'm ready to talk now. I'll tell you all about the Fiasola, like I promised. Let's talk somewhere with Nyceria. It helps set the atmosphere. Dang. Yes, this is submarine. Oh, dang. That is a nice atmosphere. Ground here should be fine. Yep, looks good. Fiasola used to love this spot. She said she used to come here to ponder new inventions while looking out over Shatola. What kind of relationship do you have? Time to get to the things. What kind of relationship, hmm? She was a fellow venturer. I guess the best way to describe a relationship is that we were rivals. They're just starting lots of wind and lightning. Oh no, stay safe. Uh, wholesale, are you the type to shower when it storms? I had this poll on Twitter, and for the longest time I had no idea that, you know, you technically weren't supposed to shower when it thunderstorms or anything like that. Because apparently you can get struck by lightning, but I never knew that. I've been oblivious this whole time. Also, Michael, hi. How are you doing? I took you out here to set the mood, huh? Does that make this a date? I kind of... oh, old oldest cat is freaking out and hiding. She was a weird one, but she had a way of drawing you in with her words. You know, it was her who said she'd go to the bottom of the ocean first. One time, we were out late in the tavern. Our phones were the norm. You weren't supposed to talk on them during a storm. Really? I'm sure there are more important and taller things for random lightning. You know, uh, a lightning bolt hit one of the trees outside the guild hall once. We had to actually get it cut down. And some of the, uh, some of the, uh, stuff connected to our house did, like, short out, like, Yuki's tablet adapter. But other than that, like, Thankfully, we had, like, surge protectors on the <clears throat> Hi, I'm going to the ocean floor. Ooh, flashback. Are you feeling all right, Fiasola? Maybe it's time to go home. No, I'm fine. I'm serious, Hein. What's that sticking out? Oh, it's like a cord, I guess. Other? I decided a few days ago. I was swimming in the sea as usual when I got curious and felt like going a bit deeper. No, you really worry me with these crazy ideas of yours. Haha, uh -huh, don't worry, I found something really cool down there. Did? How do people walk in those heels, by the way? Uh, while I was diving down deeper, I saw a shipwreck, and not just any shipwreck. It was made of material like nothing we've ever seen on the planet before. Oh, wow, sounds amazing. I know, right? Why do you sound so uninterested? Because I am un uninterested. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the guy who survived getting struck by lightning several times? I oh, dang. Even his tombstone was struck by lightning. That's pretty intense. Also, Frosty, I thank you so much for joining the adventuring party. Welcome! Like, did he have brain damage? <laughs> or, like, physical damage? My grandmother's house was not grounded properly, so if any storm would come, it would fry anything left plug in. Dang. Was your grandmother's house pretty old? I feel like most houses nowadays, like, probably are properly grounded, right? We have modern uh, defenses against lightning, like, uh, shoulder protectors, towers, and trees, <laughs> and tall people. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I'm very tall. I'm only 5'5, five five, you know, <laughs> in freedom units. I don't know how tall that is in, uh, CM. He actually kept getting lit on fire. Oh my gosh! So he made a point to always have a bucket of water on him at all times. That's insane. What are you... Aren't you curious to know th what this unknown material could mean for our future? Not really. Uh, you have no sense of romanticism. That's why girls don't talk to you, you know? Dang. You're so clever as well. It's such a shame. 
I didn't ask you for love advice, thank you. Five five is pretty tall for a dwarf. Dwarf? I'm no dwarf. I deny any dwarfism. I am not a dwarf. I'm a normal, normal human being. I'm a lightning risk. Six four and freedom units. Dang, Hinge. I'll make uh <laughs> I'll make sure to use you to get to high places. <laughs> hey, Hinge, can you can you reach the second shelf of the grocery store for me? Works the forge enough to be a dwarf and you're her twin. <laughs> I'm 183 or so, about six feet, I believe. I got a friend who's 210 cm, so he will be my lightning rod. Oh wow. <laughs> I see no point. Oh, yeah, our house mate is taller than us. He can reach the second shelf. <laughs> I see no point in having a partner. Even if I had that kind of spare time, I'd rather put it towards my invention. I'm 5'8", average height of a US male, apparently. No problem. I'll be sure to get those tall shelves. Let's go. You never changed. Oh, well. Back to the shipwreck. It made me sure of something. It made me sure of something. Wow. Talking hard. There's still so much we don't know about this world. And if we delve deep into the seafloor, we're bound to find out more. That's why you want to go all of a sudden? Yeah. So you saw something down there. So what? Don't talk like going to the ocean floor is that easy. It's dangerous. If anything happened to you all the way down there, there's no way of knowing you'd make it back alive. Aw, are you worried about me? Come on, Fiasol, it's not worth it. We've gone this long without that material, we don't need it now. We already have an all-purpose tool, Monolite. Isn't that good enough? Monolite? Not heroes, Fiasola. We're venters, don't... Listen to me, Hein. Do you know what I call a world that's satisfied with everything as it is? A poisonous world. <laughs> it's so intense. Huh? When people get comfortable, they lose their sense of inquisitiveness, and they stop moving forward. I don't want to end up a boring inventor who only made mundane, everyday inventions. I want to push the limits of what people thought was ever possible. I know it's dangerous, and I'm well, well aware that I may lose my life at sea, but I'm prepared for that. Even if I die on this quest, I'll have forged a path for others that will live on after me. Someday, someone will follow in my footsteps and make it even further than I did. At the very least, if my sacrifice could renew people's curiosity, that in itself would. Shut up! Don't take. Don't talk so lightly about giving up your life like that. You're always taking things so literally. It's not like I'm going in there intending to die. Once you die, that's it. There's no going back after that. Who cares what others do? You really are too stubborn. Your inventions won't go very far like that. You should open your mind a little more. My inventions are... I know. Why don't you find a partner? <laughs> what? Doesn't have to be romantic. A friend would do. Having someone to talk to would open up your heart a bit too. Would be the I don't know who, what you're, who you're talking about. I love how they're arguing with each other. I don't know. I'm pretty happy to relax a lot. I mean, I also too. I'll be relaxing. I'm totally fine with a stay-at-home, you know, vacation. Vacation. After that, Fiasola started making a submarine and journeyed to the seabed all by herself. Since then, no one has seen her again, myself included. I think she died. Who knows, she could have found a lost town down there and be living her best life. 
Or knowing her, she's probably still roaming around looking for new discoveries. That's why I made the submarine. I go and get her. Tell her to come back to Shatola already. I'm sure you'll find her. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure I will. I don't want to think about a uh, homemade submarine. <laughs> well, now you know about Fiasola. Has that settled your mind? Telling me. Good. So we head back then. It's never bad to just chill at home and recharge the batteries. Yeah. Ever? Like. Can we get money? Please? I just want money. How did I find out about this game? Um, I that's all like on a Nintendo Direct. Where you got? That's how I found out about it. I feel like a lot of kind of like farming systems are hot rage. Rage. Vacations always non relaxed times. Boys are going for active stuff. Being ride surfing, down. I do enjoy uh, my nothing. Yeah, I also I like a mix, right? Sometimes, uh, to act it though, it doesn't. We're gonna try this again. If she ain't there, I'm gonna be mad! I play all consoles. How are you doing? Greetings, salutations, and good evening from my time zone to yours. Glad to catch ya. Yuna and Yuki, hope you're having a good evening. Hey, we are. Okay. Okay, where are you, lady? Where are you? Am. Boot us out or what? Yes. Welcome. Are you hey. here to see the children? Who said to meet you? You're a liar. Ugh. I am fucking meeting you, girl. Ah. 
You found something out? Let me do it! <laughs> I had to come back there again sometime else. I don't know. Go home, okay? Hopefully Yuki, Yuki is getting some good sleep. Y'all both need your rest, especially if it leads to not being toxic to each other on Twitter. You wish. Probably always be a little toxic. <laughs> and they tried to complete it, but it's like... Yes. Go away, come back. Take care out there. Y'all need some therapy. Hey, that is just normal sibling behavior. Oh, that's not beautiful. That is just some normal sibling behavior, let me tell you. Yeah, I wonder if there's a trigger that maybe we're not hitting. Give me a second. I want to look it up. And maybe we had to progress on the quest, maybe. I think maybe we had to proceed on some of these quests. Thankfully, we have a few things to do. We do need to, like, go to... We should probably go and get that stuff for Crest, and then we can go do the, the shrine. That's tomorrow. Hi, Draken! How are you doing? Mine steps on the back of the head trigger better thinking. <laughs> that is some great German logic there. I love that saying. Normal siblings, Yuki was complaining that the lyrics from yesterday's Ashanti were all about her. I need more of Deep Lore for Yuna. 
for example, why is Tuna telling us to eat poison? I think it was like a hydration joke, I think. I love fishing. You know what game had a really annoyingly hard fishing game? It was uh, the Tales of Arise. I could never get the fishing work uh, properly. But well, that's all right. Play all consoles. Hope you have a good rest. Stopping by. Have you fished in real life and ate the fish afterwards? Not in a long time. I always get jealous. Do you ever see those TV shows? Like those Japanese TV shows where they go fishing? Then they grill the fish afterwards and they like put salt on it. It looks so good! Any thoughts on playing a flat out fishing game? I wouldn't mind. I don't know any, any fishing games though. Oh, no, we're about to pass out. No, no, no. Need to run. We're about to pass out. We need to run. 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 Welcome back. Ah. Uh. Take care out there. Oh, Aesil, hello. Would you mind coming to my place? I'd like to talk about the girl we met, Otella. We need to do something about her. Thanks for the dance. Sorry for making such a sudden request, but I need some help. I want to do well with the vigil for the sake of everyone in Shatola, but I cannot keep going like this. Please, you. I don't know what to do. Okay, fine. Risk. Yes, everything is getting... Looks like some crops are ready for harvest. Do you want to work on the farm today? Now we can harvest these. Some stuff. Oh, one. Uh.
We got coffee. No, I didn't mean to eat. cheese in there. Well, I didn't know you could make coffee. How do you know? I can't pet my chimkins. Yeah, the bot's not working again. <laughs> Bad. What kind of plants you take care of? A garden or a pot, maybe. I used to actually have a bamboo plant, but Yuki and I are kind of known for killing things. I'm not gonna lie. Are you guys, do you guys have better luck than us with the... Yeah, uh, sadly the bamboo plant I had, it kind of died, uh, because I had to transplant it to a different pot, but it... The soil wasn't good. to go. Oh. Go to Silent King. I wonder where the two red leaves are under. If we, like, search the plant spots, we might be able to get, so let's... Like, there are a few. I've grown plenty of mold, does that count? Oh, fuck! God damn it!
Okay, there's one. Okay. Can I go back around? Can I go back around? And we're gonna dodge. Ah! Come after us. Don't fall in the pit. Monkey, how are you doing? We'll have to we'll have to come back. Might as well go to the Shatola then. I guess I am decent. I often underestimate the summer heat. Oh yeah, I've accidentally grown pumpkin just from tossing out the seeds. You know, I had a friend who did that. <laughs> I've also occasionally do a small garden. A big garden to take care of. So I do at least, I can at least survive. Ah, Mama Estrella, she likes uh, gardening a lot. She has the green thumb. There's like tomatoes. Finish um, with work, just doing now. Ooh, nice. He always gives us like zoo peppers. Oh, you, you, you came. I need your advice. Do you have a moment? Music giving me Wii Sports Resorts vibes. You know, uh, Yuki and I actually had that game. We should actually play on stream. The problem is, uh, it'd be hard to track our face, I guess. <laughs> but we might have to be Foogies. <laughs> Will you join me in the back room? I've already asked the bartender and he said it was fine. I'll go there as soon as the song is over. I kinda want those dresses in real life. Those look beautiful. I don't want. What did you want to talk about? Right. The truth is, I don't feel like I've been seeing as well as I could. Just PNG tuber, it'll be fun. Yeah, maybe we should try that sometime. The patrons are kind and haven't said anything about it. We also have the, the Clubhouse game. game. Maybe we should do that too as well. Alright, I gotta... That's something... Aye! Ah! Ah! Also, I'm gonna hydrate real quick. Drink. Be sure to hydrate, guildmates. Okay. <laughs> but I can feel it in my chest, like a hazy loom wearing it down. You know what's causing it? Cause? It's really okay for me to your pink look like you're, uh, the one sitting in dialogue in At the vigil, it's dedicated to those who were hurt by Lorelai, after all. We need to make you some scuffed 3D models for sure. But then we would need 3D trackers. <laughs> but I'm a siren. I'm no different from the Lorelai that everyone feared. Not evil, evil. That's not all. 
Besides being at the festival, everyone will continue to hate the Lorelai and the Sirens. But the Sirens were victims as much as anyone else. But I want to sing for them too. Both reasons. Right. I know I'm being selfish. Even though the representative asked me to see Sola, gonna back out? No, I can't do that. I think on my own a little bit. Maybe I'll come to a decision. Mother, everyone, what should I do? Well, Shatola. Must I only choose one to support? Do you. Do you? I'm going to get, go back on stage. Everyone is waiting after me. I'll support you whenever you choose. I do like emotes. I'll keep thinking about what I can do. Oh, we're getting close with her. If. Go to Heinz place. So cloudy. Where his thing is. Oh, don't jump off. Catch up. Did we ever do a dungeon? I think we have done a dungeon. Where is he? months. 11 months, never seen it. I think it's because the dungeon that we cleared a while. I think it's because we've done so many side quests. Heck, sir. Wait till night time. For you. To progress a little more in the story. I'm not going to go to the orphanage, baby. I can't meet with him. He's not freaking there. I'm going to wait till it's late. Like... 
Catch up. Okay, we're gonna like go do. And we are doing side quests, but we're. We're not going to meet with you. Good go here. All these stairs that hammer the ocean. Castle! There it is, the castle. It's... I remember, of course, this is where I... Princess! Well, that's quite a last hurrah. Okay. I am fine. Seems as energetic as ever. Thank goodness for that. Anyways, welcome to Castle Lewis. So this is like the capital. Now tell me, Mr. Unicorn, the princess you're searching for wouldn't happen to be Princess Liddell, would it? Correct. I'm the servant of Her Royal Highness Princess Liddell. Quite majestic. It would behoove you to refer to her with high, re high reverence, being servants to the servant of Her Majesty. Is there a problem? I think we may have a spot of trouble. Right, we may have to give up on being the princess Liddell after all. What are you saying? I will not acquiesce, uh, acquiesce when I am so close. I thought bringing Mr. Unicorn might change something, but it looks as though the castle refuses to stir. Enough with the riddles. If you know why, then out with it. Because the castle is empty. Voice has been. What? The gates to Castle Lewis have never opened. It said that a noble bloodline watches over the people I in the castle. Nor has anyone seen a hint of people inside from the side of the drawbridge. Oh. It's not much, but that is all I know. But yet they're sending out missive? How? In other words, Princess Liddell has never granted anyone an audience. Even with the arrival of Quietus, the inner workings of the castle haven't seemed to move once. But I have spoken to Princess Liddell myself countless times. I have vivid memories of the castle interior stored in the recesses of my magnificent brain. Even now, I I can see her. Princess! And with that, are such outbursts regular occurrence for you? Regardless, being with Princess Liddell will be much more difficult than anticipated. I will not acquiesce. You're free to do that, but if we're unable to raise the strawbridge, the, mysterious, the mysteries run ever deeper. I didn't realize that was the cat. We got that quest. Now we just need to oh, let me out. The unicorn should go ramming speed to get you and like jump over the the gap. <laughs> Here. Kills you. 
good. Kinda wanna do a little fish. Is so we can go do that. We need to progress with the story. I think we're stuck on the other ones until we progress here. Caught by the priest, we go now. Let's go to the temple. Oh, fine. I'm gonna make fishing hat assets. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Let's do a bit of fishing and then we'll do a, a go go just night and then then we'll uh cuz like I'm afraid by the time we get done with dialogue we might fall asleep here. Do a bit of fishing. Lots of these OT OD dot crap. At least you can sell them for money. Hi, dog water. Yeah, the fishing game in this mechanic, like the mechanics in this game, is really. Mhm. Mm like I said, like the Tales of Arise fishing system, I hate it. Like I've never been able to catch a fish on it, and I'd like to think I'm decent at figuring out mechanics, but I could not figure that out for the life of me. It was so hard. But I like simple ones, like you just press A. World of Warcraft is the same thing. You just right click and you. Oh shit. As I as I messed up, simple mechanic. Does Final Fantasy have fishing? And then we'll get a little bitty frosty here. We tried the fishing system outside. It's very in depth. I'll Never tried. Oh, yes, it does. I guess I just haven't bothered with the fishing mechanic. I don't know why, but I love fishing games. Mm, maybe one day I'll try playing. Oh. Like, Stardew isn't hard, and it's just keeping the fish far. The rag movement is annoying as heck. Oh yeah, I, I think I played a bit of Stardew Valley uh, fishing. Yeah, uh, 
red leaf. Final Fantasy 14 fishing is the bomb. I had the fishy rod controller for the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, I, I think they've... I remember they've made us uh, some... Oh man, we have to go See back... See you later! To... We're talking to Emo. Did you admit we should stop on my bar and for yourself? Thank you for everything. With your assistance, I finally complete my modification for... I cannot thank you enough. Um, you should be able to catch up to her now. Okay. Castle Lewis Times. Teen citizens, the princess of Lewis coming of age ceremony was recently held. When coming of age, we now expect that she will be taking a more active administrative role alongside the king. Look out for enhanced operations for our most noble Lewis royal family. Castle just... The problem is, we don't know if you exist. Because you, <laughs> you know... Potato. Good Under all the things. Drink up, bubbles. Drink up, bubbles. Gonna grab meat if you have some smoked meat. Fishing and Final Fantasy board. Probably my favorite thing. Oh.
Yeah, I do wanna... I would do wanna... I saw a guy beat the fishing... The fighting game Soul Calibur with the fishing controller. <laughs> Dang, that's a... Okay. So I buy them real fast. You gonna try fireball fishing? I mean, might be that. Might be a valid way to fish. Never know. The fish would already be cooked. So hi, Kyle. If Zuko from Avatar does that, <laughs> or he just fire fireballs things. See you later. That's. I can do any of the side quests. I keep thinking they're. Let's see if we get lucky. Is that what we needed? So we'll go ahead and continue with some and we'll over the red leaf. And cuddly rhino beetle, bunny. At the end of the day, Fireball proves the perfect spell you can't can fish, cook, and deal AoE damage all at the same time. Oh man, so in, in one of our D&D campaigns, recently, Curse of Strahd, I totally took out a whole area with that Fireball. It was amazing. Let's see. Hello, do you have some business here? We wanted to check the Seas Light, but we heard we would need your permission. There's no time to lose. Could you let us in? There's no need for you to check the Leave that to our missionaries. That's their job. Furthermore, we're under instruction not to allow those who aren't wearing a Los Indulgentia into the temple. At. Hmm. If you don't know what it is, then I won't waste my breath. Always a blast. <laughs> Want to play D&D &D again? It's, it's last time. It's a lot of fun. I do want to run more D&D, &D, like one-shots and can't. just need time. Take him. Excuse me. Hey now, that was a bit harsh. Let's give these travelers a chance and hear them out. It's you again! I knew we'd meet again. Sister Shrika, those without a false indulgence or tainted souls must not allow them to the temple. Isn't she the one who was like, Marry me! I'll, uh, let's get a house together! I guess that makes me a tainted soul then. I don't have one. But you're different. You're consecrated at birth. You don't need a flow indulgence yet. Whatever. I said a voice attack profile for hell divers. I cast fireball. That's how I activate the equal airstrike. Yo! That's cool. 
Who gives you these orders? Depending on who it is, I might be able to arrange something. Patriarch. Patriarch, are you sure? Yes, this. Oh. My shots are super fun as well. It sounds interesting. If his, if his eminence, eminence says so, then there must be a good reason for it. Hold on a minute. You changed your tone. Why are you acting all respectful all of a sudden? This lady here? This lady was all over me. You're like, oh, we need to buy a house now. Oh, you need to marry me. Let's get married. I'm sorry. It doesn't look like I'll be able to get you into the temple. Whatever this is. I think that's your best bet. How do we get one? Only people who have been baptized at the temple can wear one. What do you mean by baptized? I'm not totally sure how it all works. I'm a missionary, so most of my work is out of house. Besides, both the Flos Indulgenta and the temple are pretty recent developments. These people are all crazy. They are! Try visiting temple. Uh, there's a priest there called their site be able to get somewhere to speak also <laughs> are off honestly seeing more D&D &D stuff would be awesome but it takes time to gain the other side yeah that's the hardest part also, another thing that we really should do is play more TCG games because, you know, all the TCG cards Yuki has laying around. Form an order line here for baptism. Excuse me, you there. If you heard to get baptized, please get in line. Just sent it. Oh, so Shrika sent you here. I'm their site. There's these. They look like travelers. And? That's Shrika. She was supposed to come and talk to the patriarch when she got back from her research. Well? Uh, sorry. I'm afraid only a believer of the order may receive a baptism. What's more, we're inundated with the uh, evacuees from Doxa at the moment. Evacuees? Yes, because of the Patriarch's Oracle. Oracle? Yes, there has been a change in the Sea's Light recently. Since then, His Eminence has been able to receive Divine Revelation. According to the Oracle, a disaster is imminent. Yesterday, we received an Oracle that the village of Doxa would be met with a great disaster in the very near future. The villagers are coming here in large numbers for refuge. Give me a break. You're telling me all you people believe in this fortune-telling nonsense? You are not believers? To be honest with you, I had my doubts in the beginning too, but the Oracle has been tricked every time. Whatever tricks they're pulling in the background, I have to concede that there's some truth. At least allowed to say that? Hm, I could care less about the teachings. Believing won't put bread on the table. CCG would make some great relation. <laughs> he can burn her bulk in the, the fire. Why are, are you working for the order then? Well, that doesn't matter. Temple Indulgentia is busy right now. I'm afraid I won't have time to get you in for a baptism. Back to square one. So exhausting. This is how they avoid responsibility. When the organization gets this big, they just can keep palming you off to others. I can't believe all this nonsense about oracles and predicting the future and stuff. These people need science. <laughs> that priest didn't seem to believe in it, though. What do we do now? It's a dead end. At this rate, I bet even talking to the patriarch himself still wouldn't get us any. Crown Urus, hello. Sorry, what did you say? Don't don't you believe in the teachings? Leave it, they're outsiders. Let's not get involved. 
Either way, we'll be stuck with more than more than begging for mercy once the Oracle's prophecy comes to fruition. I know, but we can't just allow the Hurley Capital to keep getting tainted in sin by these outsiders. They won't affect us. We are purified by our flo flos indulgentia. Still, I heard that someone intruded into the fine seas like cave. Wasn't that person an outsider as well? I wish non-believers wouldn't come here. Sorry, we didn't mean any harm. I want to marry Arya. Did you hear that? It said there was an intruder. Yeah. It said someone intruded into the Divine Seas like Cave. It was probably that guy we saw all dressed in black. If we find him, we might be able to get in there without the Order's permission. But we're just gonna break in! You're right. Alright, well, that's our next move. Let's see if we can find any signs of the guy all dressed up in black. He might know a secret passageway to the lake. Where did we even start, though? It'd be a miracle if we actually found him. My bad. I shouldn't be joking about miracles around here. Let's just start by checking around the town. Guess we'll look around. We're breaking and entering. Never hurt anyone unless they got caught. That's right. We just won't get caught. That's. Oh, we got runs into us. Sorry. Young man dropped something. Get up. This was dropped by the young man. It's a dimly sparkling, sparkling blue flower. Could this be a flos indulgent? Pick up the flos indulgent. Hey! Excuse me. I lost my flos indulgentia. Have you seen it? Shit! Uh, do we give it back? Give it back, guys. We should probably give it back. We're good. We're good people. Uh. Thank goodness. If I lost it, I'd. Anyway, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Looks like it's a flower of some sort. I heard the intruder was wearing a fake red. Oh. Close indulgentia. And that would be deemed an ideological. It's clearly premeditated if he went for us to wear a fake. It doesn't have the fishing spot. Is it just me or does Yuda's audio sometimes clip out? Um, yeah, I think it does. It depends. If I'm looking at like the chat because it's on the right side, I might look out. I might clip out. Let's hang out the Holly Inn next time. They make an awesome hot soup. No way, I'm not going there. You know I heard that there's a ghost who shows up sometimes all dressed in black. Uh, you're scared over that? No, that's not all. Apparently the ghost is wearing a fake red. Oh, they're talking about the... So mom says he must have been cursed. The Holly Inn, huh? That ghost is the same person as the intruder with the red flower. 
I think we know where to go next. Check out... Check out the inn. Yes, let's try the inn. I bet this is probably another party member we can recruit. You there, you look like you could do with some Damagosite? My high quality Damagosite, you can make the legendary Damagus weapon. Damascus? You won't find a better price anywhere. 100 grill, what do you say? Thank you for your patronage. Bye now. How we got? Did I get anything? I probably got scammed. They didn't give me anything. I just stole from me. Something's off about... Oh. Vanishes in a puff of smoke. Looks like it was a fake. No! My money! Rumor in town is that there's a ghost dressed in black at the inn. That's gotta be the intruder, right? Anyone. Is it the innkeep? <laughs> Let's ask the landlord. Good idea. Dress in all black. Welcome to the Holly Inn. Do you need a room for the night? We're actually searching for you. Can do that somewhere else, please. Dang. I'm you, you. Let me handle this. Hello there. I'll get straight to the point. I know the secret of the Floss Indulgentia. You do? Yes, and it's huge. If such a secret were to spread any further than this town would... Don't talk about that here. Are you sure you want to come out? Look at this dude! Whoa! He looks hot. <laughs> That girl said she knew the secret of the Flos Indulgentia. You there, you know its true identity? It looks like an assassin. Identity? Oh, you mean that identity. Yeah, I know it very well. She's laughing so hard. But we shouldn't discuss it out here in the open. Come over here. Look at him. He looks so badass. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret passage! How did you find out it's secret? I don't know any secrets. Couldn't you tell? I just said that to lure him out. <laughs> you heard rumors in town that the intruder was probably an ideological criminal, right? I pretended that I was rebelling against the Order too. I was just bluffing. He seems to have a problem with the Flos Indulgentia, so I used that as bait. Secret tunnel, no one will find the body. No. I don't think it would I didn't think it would go this smoothly though. I guess I did pick up some useful life tips from the Academy. People who are obsessed with the ideology ideology uh are the same in every time period. I can't talk anymore. Anyways, I think we'll be able to get something out of him. Let's ask him about the hidden route. Route? <laughs> Come in. The 
What's this room for? The landlord made this secret store to hide goods from the order. In the teachings, this is sin to earn money, but the landlord will keep quiet about anything for the right price. The order would never think to look for me. Alright, well, let's get down to business. I'd like to join forces with you to overthrow the order. Overthrow the order? Who cares about that? Here's Zigfields. 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 You were bluffing, weren't you? Yes, you got me. But oh, what do you actually want? Why did you go to such trouble to talk to me? I want to get to the Winter Seas Light. Oh, that. Well, sure, why not? I've already given away too much. I do know a hidden route to the Seas Light Cave. I knew it! But if you want to know, it'll cost you. Let's strike up a deal? Of course, I'm not one to give away my services for free. I'm a mercenary, you see. I'll only take you to the Seas Light if you pay to hire me. Fuck you. 3,000. No. What? That's extortionate. Anything that's cheap, I'm highly capable. Do you, do you have a moment? I have a confession to make. I don't, um, like, have any money from this time. So I'm actually kind of broke. Well, more like totally penniless. I know I look well put together, but I'm actually struggling. It never occurred to me that time travelers wouldn't have money problems. It makes sense, come to think of it. Sorry, I won't be much help here. Are you expecting me to front everything? Well, my price is 3000 You gonna pay or not? Not that much money. Okay. I wonder if I can... Wait, how much money do I have? I don't... I think I might have enough. As you're doing business with me. I'll escort you whenever you're ready. Just say the word. My name is Brocken, by the way. Try not to forget it. Party. Hey, you. Meeting with Brock at Titan Towers. Acquired the Avenger job class. Let's go! A job with long range physical, physical attacks that uses skills to switch between dealing fire and ice damage to enemies. Ooh, nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back upstairs. Because we're poor as fuck. Money do we have now? Nothing. We have nothing. Okay. So why don't we actually head out? Actually, we can go to leave because, like, oh, <laughs> so uh, turn in that stuff for Christ. Business. 
Cheers. Now we have like no four again. Oh, we got your stuff. Dr. Crest, how's my brother doing? Now we'll have him take the medicine. I see how it goes from there. Contact me straight away if his condition changes. Alright. Thank you, doctor. No need to thank me. All I've done is prescribe him some medicine. I'm just grateful I could get him looked. It's been really painful for you, hasn't it? Yes. Like, I can't promise I'll cure him. But I can promise that I will do everything in my power to help your brother. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, welcome. Oh, you, you. Bring the materials I asked for. Hand over the materials to Crest. That's perfect. Thank you. Who was that? She's related to a new patient of mine. Said she's his younger sister. Anything wrong? The patient is presenting symptoms of the quiet. I made a house call the other day to form a checkup and found the sickness had been progress progressing. It's just like what happened with my own mom and dad. Oh yeah, so the quiet is like a, a disease that happens at the end of the month when the quietness sets in and if you stay out in it too long, you'll... You don't... They don't look different physically, but with every passing day, they lose the strength to survive. You help him. I'll do my best. My plan is to create a new medicinal compound using the materials you brought me. At any rate, I'm banking on this one to work. All you can do is try. Right. Being this disease is what defines my life as a doctor. For the patient and his family, and for my own parents, too. I will find that cure. Should help, too. We have a long road ahead of us. Counting on you, you, you. Anyway. I can't afford to waste another second. Got that settled, then I'm going to get back to my research. I'll send you a letter if there's anything I need. Take care of you. Please reward us, please. I wonder if we can buy more, like... Not pets, like livestock. How much they... And I need to see how much it takes... Airborne depression. <laughs> Nina seems to handle herself pretty well. Makes sense she'd be able to cover the expenses. Honestly, that's true even like... With Yuki. I usually am the one to handle most of the... Although, uh, Yuki did handle the airplane ticket. Man the farm. The foul pen level 2! Come again. What? 
Let's uh jag one. Been playing also a little longer than I Oops. What was it? I think seasonal depression is the thing though, like especially in the winter. Oh, I've come. No. Gee, you came. Something happened. Honestly, I don't know. Everyone needed a break. Oh fine. Hello, Princess Emo, and you too, you, you. Need a break from what? You already know, but the vigil is a festival held to mourn the lives of those we lost. Not like any other festival we've had with all their pomp and revelry. Revelry! Hold on. Hard. But like any festival, it requires a lot of time to prepare, which can weigh down on the human spirit. Yeah, seasonal depression is... Like you're stuck in I think for me if it's rainy on stop it's always raining on the weekends and it's sunny on the days I have to work <laughs> everyone looks like they normally do happy and high in spirit but deep down they wrestle with the, a great many things this vessel is gravely important to the people here so a breather is required to ensure, ensure its success that's understandable I've sunk quite a lot today already I'll keep going if it will help to give everyone here the energy they need. That would be wonderful. It's been some time since I last heard you sing. You got this. You get to listen? Emo performs a song for all the patrons at the tavern. You don't get to listen! It's as beautiful as always. Emo, that was amazing. I feel so spoiled getting to hear your voice so often in one day. Thank you so much. I know you're busy, busy practicing for the vigil, which makes your performance now all the more splendid. Splendid. Well, now that we've heard Emo sing, I suppose it's time to call it a day. I agree. Time to head home. We've got another full day of preparations ahead of us tomorrow. Emo, I'm looking forward to hearing you again at the vigil. An old fishing friend of mine was killed by that monster Lorelei. Aww. Please see him off and finally put his soul to rest. Of course, I will do my best for everyone. Thank you. I don't know what we'd do without you here, Emo. The Tola would certainly be a much darker place without you. With your beautiful songs, we've been able to turn it all around. What? No, I didn't do anything. Speaking of which, I've been pondering. Why is it that the Lorelei up and disappeared? That's... that's actually a good point. Not to mention, those bubbles of light that used to float far off over the sea, where'd those go? That's not what's important. What if it just got sick of picking us off and ran somewhere else? You're probably right. At least the nasty beats out of our hair now. Lord Light kept us from getting out of the sea for so long. Stop really did. What an awful creature, creating so much chaos on our doorstep. Doorstep. Uh-oh. Wrong. It's probably out there re wrecking havoc on some other poor souls as we... This me chills thinking about it. Stop, oh, please! You okay, Emo? Got it all wrong. You weren't being attacked. Everyone was protecting the sea. What are you talking about, Emo? Why did you look so sad? Lorelai weren't evil, they just wanted to protect the sea. Hold up, Emo. 
know you're a kind soul, but there's no need to stick up for the Lorelei. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell you the truth. How can what you say be the truth? Lorelei was... Lorelei was important to me. Please don't speak ill of them anymore. Calm down, Nemo. You're starting to sound like you were Lorelai's friend or something. No, that's not what you mean. How would you feel if I was their friend? What? Pardon me for intruding. Fine, save us! Do you, Hein? Did your best, Nemo. What's all this about, Hein? What do you know? What indeed? I think it's best we allow Emo to speak for herself. I believe that should clear up any misconceptions, am I right? Trying to tell me. Emo was a Lorelai's friend all along? How could that be? Has Emo ever lied to us before? So this is how it's going to be, is it? Now how to calm everyone down. Alright, enough's enough. Tavern's closed. Thank you, bartender! The bartender. I'm sorry, but I'm calling it here. Time for everyone to go home. Now if you don't mind... Best to do as he says. I'm okay. He's in the back room resting. Day was a lot for her to deal with. I suggest you leave her be while she gets her feelings in order. Not just her. I think the people of Shatola have some reflecting to do as well. You can leave it to me from here, Yu Yu. I'll send you a letter if anything comes up. No, you must be worried about her. There's nothing else for you to do. Go, Yu Yu. Let's go! Get in there. We might... Might! Save... Mine for later... Because the time doesn't pause. So we're just gonna do a bit of fishing and then we'll... Love how you can see the sunset. Is that cool? Traveler. That's a, uh, a reference to Octopath Traveler by Square Enix. It's also a good game. I do you like the music? From Octopath Traveler. I think I have a little music from the theme song. Really nice.
travels the water as if on a constant journey. Whether it continues its generous journey for its own sake or someone else's, no one knows. In any case, it's delicious. Yeah, I love references like that. How long it takes to catch anything. You have a favorite game soundtrack. Dude, there's a lot of good. Um. I do like the near soundtrack a lot, though. Under my feet. You guys have a favorite game song? Even though I like the near soundtrack, I've never played the game. I've just listened to the music. I feel like that would be great to see a, a you know, orchestra, live in orchestra, orchestra, uh, orchestral performance. Same with like any Final Fantasy music. It'd be cool to kind of hear. I know one of my coworkers recently went to a like opera performance, and they said they're not usually an opera person, but the mu the way they sang was so good. Some people have great talent. They said the the opera hall was like perfect for the acoustics. Final Fantasy VII still has some of my favorite music for a game. Mm. I do like Final Pants. Especially piano music. I love. One of my favorite songs, just in general, uh, it's from Yurima. It's called Kiss the Rain. I'd listen to it if I'm like, feeling sad or I'm chill too. I love piano. One more. Run! See people go in their house. Piano hits just right. Else we can.
That's where we'll end it for today. Oh, my back. Right. I had a lot of fun. It's been a while. Uh, I can't wait to play this again. Hopefully we'll progress a little faster. Uh, but like I said, I know I'm I'm not the fastest at this. Just because we spend a lot of time talking, we, we read out the dialogue, so... You know. But we're moving along. We're getting these quests done. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's super chill. Came out in 22. <laughs> Alright. Let us find someone to read. I'm gonna try to throw up this messenger. The schedule for the rest of the week is um, tomorrow we're having our membership watch along of Free Ren. And Friday we're playing Final Fantasy 14. And Sunday at 6 p.m., uh, we're playing Helldivers with Nia Suzune. So, please be on the lookout for those. Um, we write down the rate. Also, we hit 13k subscribers! Woo! Hey! Uh, thank you guys so much for the support that you give us. Uh, hopefully, we can hit our goal. Our goal by our anniversary next year. So, next March is 15,000. Maybe we can hit that, huh? <laughs> There's our guild raid myth. Let me see who is live. The people live right now. Let me see. make sure the person that we're about to raid is not going to go offline. That's always the, the hard part, right? Raid Simono Monet. Nobody, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, and Sunday, Yuki should be back with us. So, um, but I hope that you enjoyed this kind of more chill game. Sorry, we didn't really get to fight <laughs> much. Actually, I don't think we fought at all. We just ran around and avoided all the fights. But I. I think next time we play, there should be some fighting. Uh, I promise this is actually an action RPG. <laughs> Alright. No mates, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, we're raiding Mona Monet from V4 Mirai. The, there's the, uh... The message. Hey, okay, mates, thank you so much. I'll see you, uh, YT members tomorrow, and then I'll see the rest of you guys on Friday. Can we say, uh, see you next adventure? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. See you next adventure. Bye, guildmates! Love you!